Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Brett Talley Daniel, MD, a neurologist, headache doctor. And I'm working today on podcast number 18 on the subject of topiramate, which is preventive treatment for migraine. So the drug originally came out as a name brand called Topamax, and it originally had an indication just for epilepsy, but it was approved in the fall of 2004 for preventive treatment of migraine also. And then later, two long-acting versions of topiramate came out as Trochendia XR and Qdexia XR, both of which have indications for treating epilepsy and migraine. So the question is, is uh, topiramate preventive treatment for migraine headache symptoms? And the answer is yes. The American Academy of Neurology current update for pharmacologic treatment for episodic migraine prevention for adults states that, quote, topiramate is established as effective and should be offered for migraine prevention, a level A indication, end quotes. So what are the available dose size of topiramate? Uh, Topamax topiramate comes as a sprinkle cap, 15, 25 milligrams, and as a tablet, 25, 50, and 100, and 200 whereas the longer-acting drug Trochendia XR and Qdexia XR came out as an extended-release ER capsule, 50, 100, and 200 milligrams. So how do you dose it? Well, so the suggested maintenance daily dose for adults is 100 milligrams, and sometimes it takes about a month to get there for many people. If you load too fast, it gives you side effects. You have to do it carefully. So Topamax... Uh, Tro- uh, Trochendia XR and Qdexia should all be tapered up to 100 milligrams starting at 25 milligrams a week and adjust the dose by 25 milligrams a week till 100 milligrams is reached. And then at the dose, like 100 milligrams, if you're on Topamax, a short-acting drug, you'd take one every 12 hours. And if you're on Trochendia XR or Qdexia XR, you can take it once a day. And most people dose at night time. Uh, for migraine prevention, it suggests that all patients stay on the 100 milligram daily dose for four to six weeks to judge treatment effect on migraine before discontinuing the drug. And the maximum daily dose for migraine is 200 milligrams. And if there's not a good response, that 100 you can slowly taper up to a little higher dose to see if you can have an effect. But remember, you have to take a chronic preventive drug a month or two to see if it works. The patient should keep a migraine diary, see if that, everything's going okay. What are the side effects? The American FDA lists possible side effects of psychomotor slowing, somnolence, word finding difficulty, numbness, weight loss, insomnia, anxiety, decreased sweating and hyperthermia, secondary angle closure, glaucoma, kidney stones, especially in men, possible birth defects, and metabolic acidosis. Now, regarding the kidney stone deal, a large European study could not confirm terpiramate risk for causing kidney stones, but it's still on the product information note from the FDA. And um, my experience is that women especially prefer topiramate if they can tolerate it because of the chance of possible weight loss. And the most common starter symptoms are paresthesias, which means numbness and tingling of the distal hands and feet, and this usually goes away after several months. And just tell the patient, you may get number tingly, it'll go away. It can also cause a strange symptom that soda fountain drinks like Coca-Cola will taste flat. And the other famous symptom that topiramate can have is word-finding difficulty and trouble with memory, which have earned topiramate the lay name of Dopamax, D-O-P-A-M-A-X. Uh, this can be a very troublesome symptom, but it's a dose-related side effects, and many times just dropping the dose for instance, if the patient's taking 100 milligrams, going to 75 milligrams will help a lot. However, there may be a decrease in migraine prevention effectiveness when the dose is decreased. Um, now, the, the short-acting drugs are given twice a day, with a long-acting drug just once a day. And what's been found is that um, t- t- topiramate, or just plain tovamax, when you take it, the levels go high that day above the blood level concentration as measured by drawing a blood level and lower than that. Whereas if you take one of the long-acting drugs, Trochindi XR, Qdex XR, the dose stays right in the middle of the high, low blood level concentration that causes fewer side effects, which is great. 
the effectiveness of uh, the various formulations of this drug can reduce migraine about 30, 40 percent. Um, the other idea is it's, it has, um, in various formulation, it can also be one of the drugs that's used for treating benign, essential, or familial treatment. It's also used for treatment of bipolar disorder. But the current FDA indications, as I've said earlier, are epilepsy and migraine. So God bless all you patients with migraine. I hope this helps you. Uh, subscribe on my um, podcast things so we can keep in touch with each other. And I'll see you again on another talk.